All right, I am no longer at the show, uh, which means I have a little bit more time, which means, which means I can play a little bit harder. So I'm going to burn this guitar. Um, obviously the show, I ran out of time basically, I had to give my talk and uh, uh, by the time I gave my talk on day three, there was only an hour or so worth of working time left and it was inconceivable that that would be spent doing anything other than chinwagging with, you know, fans and potential customers and, and other woodworkers and craftspeople and things. Good show. Shoddy carpet. But a good show. Anyway, now I'm somewhat underwhelmed with how the uh, the pinprick pattern has worked, and I'm going to adjust that a little bit. I wish I'd realised this beforehand because uh, the burning shusuki bun technique that I'm going to use it should have been done prior to the neck being glued in, really. We'll see how that turns out though. We might end up with, oh, well that could be fun. I don't know what we're gonna end up with. Enough talking, let's get some doing. Oh, that was the, uh, that was the point of no return, people. All right, our Instagram followers have said, burn it. So I'm gonna burn it. <laughs> it's been far too long since I did this. Far too long. Far too much fun. Oh, I haven't done the headstock yet. Ha <laughs> ha, yay! Are you still filming? I forgot the headstock.
Okay, seriously, if you're gonna do this to the neck, make sure that you uh, know what you're doing, have done it before, and don't care whether you destroy it. Um, I have all of these things. The, the glue line down the center has opened up slightly. Um, I didn't spend too much time uh, on the, in any one place around the neckline, or the glue line at least. And the same thing has happened uh, just around the edge of the fretboard. We've got a large area inside that is still glued um, and uh, people are judging me for, <laughs> for burning. <laughs> well, you know, I mean, it's, it's, it's fun, it's all good. Did the neck as well. Ta-da! for that little bit. Excuse me. Okay. So yeah, the glue joint, uh, in the center of the glue joint should be fine. And if it isn't, we can always re-glue it. But uh, frankly, this is, this is cool. Uh, the next stage is to let it cool down a little bit and then uh, I'm gonna hit it with a, a wire brush and all that. I am, however, questioning why Tom Webster, our director of operations, has left the door open to the smoky room of death. I mean, this is the door between our office and my studio and his office, and I feel that that was a poor decision on his part. I'm supposed to use a wire brush. I'm going to just hit a corner with this. What I need to do really, oh yeah, I quite like that. Yeah, I quite like that. What I need to do is, uh, <laughs> I need to put a dust mask on and uh, so does the camera person. In fact, let's, let's, let's get camera out, camera person out and I'll get a mask on and uh, I will continue having fun on my own. I'm, I'm somewhat, um, well, look. So what we have here is a fairly cool looking, fairly, I mean, I like the holes, that's all good. But it's just a, essentially a black stained guitar. We can do better. I think it involves gold and more fire. And what I'm after, what I'm after is that crackle finish. Let's see if we can keep some of that. All right, this might not work. But then again, it might. I'm gonna let this cool down a little bit. I'm gonna remove a little bit, literally just the, the little tiniest little bit of dust. The stuff that wants to come off. And then, then I am gonna have a play with the modern finish, grain enhancing filler, gold. And uh, what I'm hoping is gonna happen, because this is a finish as well as, as, well as a filler, it's, it can actually be used as a paint or a lacquer. I'm hoping that this is gonna hold the loose substrate together enough that when I lightly sand over, I'm gonna remove a little bit of the middle stuff, leave the gold crackle, Actually, 
using the word crackle means it doesn't sound quite so cool. Anyway, still, I think we're still on fire. The time has come. There's a ball bearing in here. Make sure it's nice and shaken. Okay, I am, I am very, very happy with how this is turning out. Still a little bit dusty, but, but definitely not boring. So, let me know what you think in the comments below. Uh, we are going to cut now to finishing. It's gonna go down to the spray booth and have a quick flash coat or two. Um, just a satin or a matte finish and then uh, together this is still a relatively quick build it's um, yeah I might well keep this one I'm, I'm, I'm keeping this one Nearly ran out of fuel. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to use the code CRIMSON10 to get £10 off your own pair of isotunes. They're amazing. I love them. So will you.